time to wash my clothes. And today's verse is from Isaiah 60, verse 1, and it says this. Arise, shine, for the light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Arise and shine are calls to action. Arise means to get up. It's an action to move upward. And shine is translated from the word or in Hebrew, which means to bring order out of chaos. God brings or, and we as the image of God, the Imago Dei, reflect him. And in doing this, we are pointing others to his kingdom. The light and the glory of the Lord has risen on us. We, as the Imago Dei, were created to reflect God's image. We are created to reflect the glory of God, which is an agape love. You and I are created with a purpose and a calling to arise and shine, for our light has come. So, how will you reflect God's light and glory today? No lie, I might have to put this back on because my ankle is starting to hurt. And I thought it healed. I might have to take it easy at the gym. Even though snow can be an inconvenience at times, it does give you a sense of peace and a sense of reflection. It makes you think about the memories that you had during like the holidays, like Christmas time, uh, just being around family, friends. I don't know what it is, it just makes time stop. Life is not always about what you can achieve numbers wise, financially, how many jobs you get, how many clothes you get, the house you buy. You shouldn't set your goals primarily on those aspects. Dig deep and find out how you can improve internally and how you can be your best self and how you can move change in society and have an impact on the world. I challenge you to step out of your comfort zone this year. Do something you wouldn't normally do. Stand up and do a, a speech. Talk to somebody that you haven't talked to for years. Rekindle friendships. Live without fear. I just challenge you to go over those hurdles and do something you haven't done before because even though it might be scary at, at first, you will look back on it and say, I'm glad I did it and it will ultimately make you a better person. It will just improve you. I decided to write my goals down for 2022 just so I can have a vision on, on what I want, want to do. And at first I was going to, I was going to write short-term, mid-term and long-term goals, but the way my mind works, I have to take it step by step. I can't rush things because that makes me stress and like, oh, I'm not reaching this goal this certain time frame. So don't feel discouraged if you don't reach your goals that you have in a certain time frame. It's all on God's timing. It's all on what God wants for you. You may not reach your goals this year. You may not reach all of your goals. You will soon reach the goals that God wants for you. Just keep moving forward. Keep setting a standard for your family, for your friends. Just chase you.